Hi, I'm Mazen, a software engineer at MathWorks. When authoring software architectures using model-based design, we need the ability to define interfaces and data types and share their definitions across components in the architecture. I will show you how to use the interface dictionary in Autosart block set to create and manage definitions like interfaces and data types, use them in the model for simulation, cogeneration, and finally our XML export. Here we have an Autosar architecture model, which defines a throttle position control composition. We've not yet defined any interfaces for these ports, so let's get started and create an interface dictionary which will contain the definitions for the port interfaces. We will use the standalone interface dictionary editor. This is an intuitive editor that can also be used independently from the model context. With these tabs, we can clearly see the different types of data this dictionary can manage. Let's start by adding a data interface for the throttle position sensor output. We can also set the Autosar properties, for example, the interface kind. Now let's define the elements for my interface. In this case, we'll have one data element called value. We can also define the design data, for example, the implementation data type and also the Autosar information for my element. This ensures that the design data and the platform information is always in sync and contained in the same dictionary. Now let's define the data types required for the inter by the interface elements. Now, since I have few sensor inputs and outputs that are reading and writing data to the hardware I.O., I will define a common data type that will be shared by them. This data type will have an implementation type unsigned in 16 and a specific min and max value. We can go back to the interface element and set this data type that we just created. And we can clearly see that the data type specification is no longer owned by this element. Now let's add a software address method, which will define a memory section in the Autosar platform. We can now use this software address method on the data elements. We will now create the rest of the interfaces and data types required by the design. The interface editor also allows me to link the interfaces and data types to requirements using the traceability matrix. Here, I'm linking the interfaces to requirements that I've already authored. The interface dictionary also allows me to define platform-specific workflows like defining XML options in a centralized location that can be used by the dictionary elements and any model linked to the dictionary. I can also export the contents of the dictionary to RxML independently from the model context. Now let's go back to the architecture model and use these interfaces to assign them to ports. We can view and edit the content of the dictionary in the model editor. Here we're using the property inspector to assign the interface to the selected port. Or we can right click on the interface editor to do so. The bidirectional traceability helps us navigate from port to interface and vice versa. Let's now compile the model to make sure we've not made any mistakes with port interface compatibility. And indeed here, it looks like I've made a mistake with assigning the wrong interface. Let's fix that and try again. Now we're ready to create behavior models for my components. We can see that the ports in the implementation model are assigned to the expected interface and linked to the same dictionary. We can now continue to implement the models, apply simulation, and finally, we can generate code in RxML for the whole composition. The output of this process is a zip file that contains both the RxML and the source code for the components. In this video, I showed you how to create an interface dictionary from the architecture model, use the standalone interface editor to author interfaces and data types, then assign those interfaces to ports in the architecture model, and then finally simulate, generate code on RxML. Thanks for listening.